everybody. Welcome to this yoga practice. It's going to be a heart-centered, heart-opening flow, um, balancing strength and softness. So strengthening and then opening and then strengthening and then opening. I hope you enjoy. Only go to your body's capacity and use this to, to really uh, tune into your heart center feel into to what's going on there. It's going to be a little tricky for me because I'm kind of on a slope, but I really like this spot. So <laughs> let's see how this goes. Go ahead and find a comfy seat, cross-legged, sitting on a block, sitting on a pillow, um, whatever feels good for you right now, sitting on your knees and close your eyes. And have your palms gently resting on your thighs, palms face down. To signal to the body and the brain that you want to tune inward. That it is time to go within. And start to really allow your inhales and your exhales to expand and release. Breathe at your own pace, but your inhales really inflate and expand and almost spill over the top of your lungs into your shoulders, into your rib cage. Can you expand in all 360 degrees? And then allow your exhales, whenever they happen, to be long and full, like you're getting out every last drop of breath. Relax your jaw, relax your eyes, your eyebrows, the space between your eyebrows. Relax your shoulders down your back and away from your ears. Notice if you're leaning to one side or the other on your hips. Find your nice center. Stack your shoulders over your hips and then stack your head and neck over your shoulders. And now that you've used your breath to tune into your body, tune into your heart space. How does your heart feel today? Is it beating quickly, slowly? Does it feel safe? Is it worried? Is it scared? Does it feel hidden, like it wants to hide? There is no right or wrong. Just tune in to how it feels in your heart center, how it feels in your chest. Does it feel sticky, crunchy, open, light? And just set the attention to keep tuning into your heart. Your awareness is naturally going to be drawn to your mind, to your brain, and that's okay. But whenever you catch it, can you move your awareness back down into your heart space, into your feeling body, over your thinking mind? And holding on to that intention, bring your palms together and really plug your thumbs into your heartbeat. Bow your brain to your heart, allowing the two to work together. The mind will always be on but having that sweet awareness to drop back in to the body, into the heart, whenever you're spending too much time in the thinking mind. And when you're ready, lift your head, and open your eyes. And then draw your feet out in front of you. I'm gonna turn this way. Oh, this is tricky. 
So you'll have your feet out in front of you, knees bent. Have your hands onto your shins. On an inhale, slowly pull the knees apart and puff up through the front of the heart, open through the front of the throat. It's kind of like a seated cat-cow. And then exhale, round. Puff up through the back of the heart, between the shoulder blades. Look down your nose at your navel. Bring the knees in together a little bit. And then inhale again, opening, really starting to tune in to that heart space. Does it feel crunchy? Does it feel spacious? Either way, just breathe into what you're feeling. And exhale, puff up between the shoulder blades, back of the heart, look down your nose at your navel. One more time. Inhales, open through the front of the body, squeeze the shoulder blades together to open more through the front body. And exhales, open through the back body. From here, cross your legs and come into tabletop. So your knees are underneath your hips and your hands are underneath your shoulders. And we'll come into a few cat cows here. So press down firmly through your palms. Energetically squeeze your, your hands back to you to pull your heart forward and open through your front body. And then your exhales, tuck your pubic bone Push the floor away. Puff up through the back of the heart. Look down your nose at your navel. And move with your own breath. So you can move quicker than I cue. You can move slower. Just really using the breath to create movement, feeling sensation in the body. And keep going a few more times at your own pace. And add in any funky wiggles that you want to take here. Again, feeling body. So any movements that your body wants to take. Maybe some barrel rolls, some hip circles. Don't overthink it. Coming out of the thinking mind and tuning into the feeling body. How does your body want to move? What movement do your chest need? What movements do your hips need? There is no right or wrong. Bring in some head and neck circles if you'd like. And then come back into tabletop. Finding stillness. Tuck your tailbone in and magnetize your hip bones to your rib cage. Pull your belly button in and up. So you start to really feel your, your core engage here. Keep pushing the floor away. Reach the right leg back and then keeping the hips in line, both facing the mat. Reach and squeeze the right glute up. Extend and reach through the left foot. Keep the back of the head long, crown of the head reaching forward. Really lengthen back through the right heel and reach forward through the left arm. Keep magnetizing through the core. Push the floor away with the right hand. Don't dump into the right shoulder. Take an inhale here. Squeeze both the front body and the back body. Then exhale. Push the floor away with the right hand. Squeeze knee and left elbow together. Inhale. Reach in opposite directions, flex the right foot, press back through the heel. Exhale, push the floor away, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Inhale, reach in both directions. Exhale, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Inhale, lengthen in both directions. Lift up a little bit higher, squeeze the right glute a little bit more. Then bend the right knee, reach back with the left hand, and if you can, clasp either the foot or the ankle, 
and then kick the foot back into the hand to open. Keep squeezing that right glute, squeezing the back body to open through the front body. You can open as much or as little as you want here. And slowly release down. Take a few wiggles in between. This is so weird, I'm on uneven ground. <laughs> and then we'll switch to the other side. So press down strongly through the right hand. Reach back through the left foot. Reach back through the left heel. Squeeze the left glute. Lift up. And then right hand reaches forward. I'm sorry, press down strongly through the left hand. Reach in both directions. Keep magnetizing your core. Long through the back of the neck, crown of the head reaches forward. Inhale, reach in both directions. Exhale, squeeze, 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 knee to elbow. Inhale, reach in both directions. Exhale, squeeze, 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 push the floor away. Inhale, reach in both directions. Exhale, squeeze again. Inhale, reach in both directions. Lift up a little bit higher. Keep the core magnetized. Then bend the left knee. And if you can, reach back for the left foot. No biggie if you can't. Press back into the hand. Kick the foot back. And use that. Squeeze the left glute. Use that to open through the front body. Opening as much or as little as you want to. Exhale, releasing back down. Tabletop, press back for a moment into child's pose. And then bend at the elbows, forehead on the mat, palms together and palms at the back of the neck. To really open through the chai lips. Open through the chest a little bit more. Keep the tailbone lengthening towards the back of the room. And full inhales, full exhales here. Come back into tabletop. Walk the hands forward a little bit. Tuck the toes and press back into down dog. You can pedal out the feet if you'd like. You can stay in stillness if that feels better. You're reaching your heels towards the mat, but they don't have to touch. You're pressing down strongly through your index and thumb knuckle pads. Turn the eyes of the elbows towards one another. Squeeze your forearms towards one another. And press back so your low back reaches further towards the back of the room behind you. Shoulder blades are away from the ears. Shoulder blades are down the back. You're engaging through the shoulder blades. Then on an inhale, sweep the right leg back and up. Keep the pinky side of the foot facing down. Really squeeze the right glute here. Pop up onto your left tiptoes and then exhale. Use the core. Step the right foot <laughs> next to the right thumb. Lower your left knee down. And inhale, lift up into a low lunge. Really keep the tailbone tucked. And then press down strongly through the front heel. Press back strongly through the back toe and keep the legs squeezing in towards one another to make this a muscular movement. Reach the hands around. If it's too much to clasp the ankles, you can clasp the elbows. And either way, open through the front of the shoulder blades, open through the heart. Keep squeezing the legs towards one another. Strong foundation, open heart. Soften your jaw, eyebrows, 
Notice what tense is and see if you can soften it. Beautiful. Exhale and release. Go ahead and straighten the right leg. Flex the right toes towards you. Take an inhale. Lengthen your heart towards your toes. Maybe you stay here. Exhale. Keep a micro bend in the knee. See if you can just walk yourself forward a little bit. Squeeze the right heel and the left knee towards one another to help keep your, your hips aligned. Inhale. Come back into low lunge. You're going to keep your left hand on the inside of the right foot underneath your left shoulder. Lift the back knee. And then inhale, open. Right arm towards sky. Press the floor away with the left hand. Left heel is reaching strongly back. Keep squeezing the legs towards one another again to keep that muscular movement. Beautiful. Then exhale, lower the right hand. Step back into down dog. Pedal out the feet or maybe stillness feels better for you. On an inhale, come up to your tiptoes. Suck up through the front body, so magnetize the core again. Wave the spine forward. Lengthen the crown of the head forward, tailbone back. Heels press strongly back. Again, eyes with the elbows. Facing one another in plank. And then either knees down or exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, lower the hips and come up into cobra, low cobra, or high cobra, whichever you're feeling for your practice today. And really squeeze the shoulder blades together. Press down through your hands to really open through the heart space. Exhale, press back into either child's pose or roll through the knees and press back into down dog. <laughs> Again, make this pose as easy, the sequence as easy or as hard as you would like it to be. On your next in breath, press down strongly through the right foot. Inhale, lift the left leg up, keep the pinky toe facing the mat, squeeze the left glute, squeeze the right glute even. Come up onto right tiptoes. Exhale, use the core to step the left foot next to the left thumb. Lower the back knee. Squeeze both of the glutes. Scissor, scissor the legs towards one another. And inhale, come up into low lunge. Again, tapping into that muscular movement. Keeping the tailbone tucked so you're not just dumping into the hips. You're squeezing the legs for that strong foundation. Pressing down strongly through the left front heel, strongly through the back big toe. And again, reaching the hands back and around for either your opposite elbow or clasped hands. If you clasp the hands, put the funky finger in front this time. Strong foundation through the legs and open through the top body, front body. Release the clasp of the hands. Frame the front foot. Start to straighten the leg. Keep a micro bend in the knee. Take an inhale. Reach the hip back. Reach the heart towards the toes. Squeeze the left heel and the right knee towards one another to really help keep the hip squared. And then exhale. You can fold forward a little if you'd like. Or stay up high. No big deal. You choose your own adventure. Take any wiggles you feel you need. Again, tune into your feeling body. How does your body want to move? What does it need? Drop from your mind into your body. Roll back into low lunge. <clears throat> right hand under right shoulder. Lift the back knee and inhale. Open left arm up to the sky. 
Keep scissoring the legs again. Keep the left hip pulling back. Press down strongly through the right hand. The lift out of the right shoulder. You can look up to the side or down, whichever feels good for you. Squeeze both glutes. Strong foundation. Open heart. Exhale. Frame the front foot. Step back into down dog. Again, stillness or maybe pedal up the feet. Whatever feels good for you. Making sure there's no animals. <laughs> On an inhale, come up onto your tiptoes, wave again into plank pose, really turning on the core by magnetizing your hip bones to your rib cage. Squeeze the eyes of the elbows towards one another, and again, either lower the knees down from plank or exhale, chaturanga. Lower the hips. Take an inhale, low cobra, tall cobra. Whatever you prefer, whatever your heart needs here. And you exhale, come back into child's pose. Inhale, tabletop, tuck the toes, exhale, down dog. Plant the left foot strongly. And then on an inhale, lift, squeeze the right leg. Think of squeezing and lifting from your right inner thigh. Squeezing both glutes. Come up onto left tiptoes. Exhale, step the right foot next to the right hand. And then turn onto the knife edge of both feet. So both of your feet turn towards the right. Heel toe your right foot so it's down a little bit so it's a, you can comfortably bend it and face the side. Take an inhale, open the right arm up to the sky. And then exhale, squeeze the left side body. Press down strongly through the hand and the feet. And open the right arm towards the top of the mat. Inhale, reach the arm back up. Exhale, dome, arc, squeeze the left side body again. Ooh, it's raining slightly. Take an inhale, lift. One more time. Exhale, squeeze. So there's a strengthening and an opening to the heart here. Beautiful. Lower your left hip all the way to the mat. And then just reach your, your right arm towards the back of the mat and really allow the left hip here to open left rib cage. Push the floor away and think of forming half of a banana with your left side body. Really reaching and opening here. On an inhale, use the feet, the obliques to reach back up and dome. Now, if you'd like, you can stay here. Or we can come into side plank. With either the feet stacked in front of one another, on top of one another, maybe you lower the bottom knee for support. Opening into side plank here. Magnetizing the core even here, pressing the floor away strongly. Strength and softness blended together in one. Breathing long, full breaths. Then exhale, come back into plank pose. Optional vinyasa here, or you can go straight into down dog or child's pose. Again, choose your own adventure. It's your practice. Take a second to sit on your heels. <laughs> Get all wobbly. Roll out the wrists if you need to. Shoulders, head and neck. 
you cooked up a lot of energy there so if there's any movements you need to like get out that energy release energy that bubbled up from within just ha huh? maybe maybe stillness feels better for you just give yourself this moment to release and to let go to slow down your breathing if it's quickened and to also tune into the energies of building strength in the body while simultaneously creating openings and feel how that feels in your body to be strength to be strong and soft at the same time when you're ready sorry aunt when you're ready come back into tabletop and press back into down dog. Find your down dog. Press down strongly through the right foot and on an inhale, squeeze the left leg back and up, squeeze both glutes. Come up onto your right tiptoes, exhale, step your left foot next to your left hand. And then turn onto the knife edge of both feet. Walk the left foot towards the center a little bit so it's easier to balance. And on an inhale, squeeze and lift the left arm up. Press the floor away, don't dump it to the right shoulder blade. Creating that strength, pressing down through the index and the uh, thumb, finger, knuckle pads. Take an inhale, exhale, reach the left arm overhead and really squeeze the right side body, squeezing the obliques, squeezing the hips to the rib cage. Take an inhale, lengthen again, reach the left arm up, exhale, dome, arc, opening while strengthening. Take an inhale, lengthen, lift up again. Exhale, doming, arcing, squeezing, opening. Relax your jaw, relax your eyes. Take an inhale, reach that arm up, and then slowly lower your right hip to the mat, Again, just kind of reach your left arm back. Adjust the arm if you need to. Whatever you need to do to really get that stretch through the right hip, right rib cage. Just a simple, easy little side banana stretch. <laughs> Opening here. And turn on your core, use your obliques, use your legs to lift up again, lengthen one more time. And then your choice, you can stay here or you can come into side plank, either stacking feet in front of one another for more balance, maybe lowering the bottom knee or stacking the hips. Again, keeping the core magnetized, hip towards rib cage even here Hip points are both facing to the side, stacked over one another. Press down strongly through the right hand. Breathing strength and softness. Balancing the two energies in the body. Relax your jaw, relax your eyes. And then come back into plank pose. Your choice, optional vinyasa. You can skip it. Again, always choose your own adventure. Feel into what your body needs at the moment. What is it calling for? What is it asking for? And again, press back onto your heels. Sitting your booty on your heels. Shake out your wrists if you need to. Roll them out. Maybe do some lion's breath.
releasing any excess energy that bubbled up. When you really tune into your body, a lot of energy has a tendency to, to come up, to spill out through your movements, through your breath. So allow yourself to release that in whatever way you need. Long exhales, wiggling, shaking, take some water. Flutter your lips on an exhale. Whichever you need, that's the one for you. So from here, I'm gonna come down onto your belly. And you're gonna press down. <laughs> I'm hitting sticks. You're gonna press down strongly through your toes, so much so that your knees lift off the mat and you feel your quads engage. Keep your tailbone reaching towards the back of the room and the tops of your feet pressing down, your ankles squeezing in towards one another. Once you have that, you can keep your hands here on the low back if that feels okay, or you can grab opposite elbows, or again, you can clasp your hands. Keep the palms of your hands together and your elbows as bent as you need to. Squeeze the shoulder blades together like you're squeezing a pencil behind you. And then inhale, use, squeeze your booty cheeks a little bit, keep your tailbone lengthened, and then lengthen your arms as much as possible, keeping your palms together if you're clasping the hands, elbows as bent as they need to be. Core magnetized even here, and use the strength of the body, the back body, to open the front body, strength of the core to open through the heart space. Breathing here, relax your face, relax your jaw. It doesn't matter how high you're lifting, what you're clasping, not clasping. It's just feeling the opening through your chest, through your heart space. Slowly come down, release that. Create pillows for your head by stacking your hands on one another and just rest your forehead onto the mat for a minute. Tuning into your breath, tuning into your breathing. Again, releasing whatever energy bubbled up out of your exhale by fluttering your lips, by maybe wiggling around a little bit. It's your practice, make it yours. And we'll do that again. Press down strongly through the tops of your feet so much so that your knees lift off the mat, your quads engage, squeeze the booty cheeks and lengthen your tailbone towards the back of the room. Bring your arms alongside your body, rest them on your low back, clasp your elbows, or if you <laughs> clasp your elbows, grab your hands, or if you clasp your hands, do it with a funky finger in front. Palms together, elbows engaged and bent as much as they need to be and use that strength to open through the front body. Again, breathing here. Oh my gosh, there's a light rain and it feels so good right now. Just imagine you're lightly being rained on, on a warm mountain day, it's glorious. <laughs> I'm like infusing this class with that energy for you, <laughs> this vibe. Exhale, slowly release. Again, create that <clears throat> pillow with your hands and bend your knees and just windshield wiper your legs from side to side. Maybe wiggle out the low back in case you did feel any tension, any tugging there. That means you were lifting too high or lifting from the low back and not your, your chest, your shoulders and squeezing your glutes enough. It's okay. Just tune into your body. Wiggle out any excess energy. Now from here, bend the knees and reach back. Magnetize your core even here so your core is engaged and grab onto your ankles or the tops of your feet. Keep the toes pointed and if you can't reach here, you can use a cloth, um, a yoga strap to wrap around and reach the legs. 
Then on an inhale, same thing we did in the beginning of class, you're going to kick the feet into the hands and use that to open through the front body. Squeeze the glutes. Lift the knees off the mat. Breathe here, play with rocking forward, rocking back. Again, only as much as is comfortable for your body. Feel the strength and the simultaneously opening, softening of the front body. Imagine your exhales are really, really releasing any stagnant, stored energy in your heart space. And your inhales are cleansing and creating room for more. More beautiful things, more newness, more space to breathe, more space to feel, more awareness of the body. Slowly, slowly release that. And then plant your hands by your body and slowly come into child's pose. <laughs> when you come back into child's pose, Wiggle your hips from side to side. You can dome the back body a little bit more. Again, make the movements yours. Do little like cat-cow movements in your child's pose just to stretch and open to the back body. Your practice, make it yours, choose your own adventure. Roll over with me now onto your back. Face this way. So my head is elevated a little bit. Lying on your back now, squeeze your legs into one another or your knees into your chest. Rock from side to side. Make little circles, figure eights, whatever feels good for your low back. You can take your knees towards your armpits if you'd like. Stay here if you want a little bit more. Take happy baby. With happy baby, if you can't reach the outside of your feet, no biggie. Just grab your shins, your ankles. And then use your arms to bring your knees towards your armpits, but also stamp your low back, your sacrum onto the mat. You can play with moving side to side here. Feel the opening through your inner thighs, the spaciousness in your low back. Maybe play with stretching one leg straight and then the other. Maybe you stretch both of them straight Again, it's your practice, make it yours. Think of a happy baby grabbing their feet. Wiggle your toes, really flex the feet. And then bring your feet in towards one another. Flail your knees out to the side. So you really feel that opening through the inner groin, through your hips. Low back, inner thighs. And then lengthen your legs and your arms in both directions. And really reach in both directions like it's your first stretch of the day. Just waking up, take any wiggles, any movements you need to. Roll out the wrists, roll out the ankles. And then find Shavasana. Let your feet flop back and forth until they fall where it's comfortable arms come alongside your body. I like to press into the back of my head and lift my shoulder blades off the mat and then release them back down so they're a little more spacious. And now scan your body. When your body finds stillness, the mind naturally wants to go bonkers. So bring your attention to your body and start softening. Start at the crown of the head, soften the top of your head, soften your eyebrows, soften your eyes, your ears, your jaw, your tongue. Soften your shoulder blades, your arms, your low back, your belly. 
Let your thighs relax, your feet. Let everything get super, super weighty and melty. Now release all of your breath out on an exhale. Let every last drop of breath go. And when you start your inhale, allow it to start in your low belly and wave the breath all the way up, slowly taking your time all the way up into your chest, into your heart space. And take in such a deep inhale that it almost feels like breath is spilling up, out, and over your heart and your lungs, into your shoulder blades. It's expanding your rib cage. It even expands your low back. Maybe it goes up into your throat, into the top of your brain. Hold your breath at the top for as long as you can, just for a second. And exhale, let that go. Let everything release. Pause for a minute at the bottom of your exhale. And we'll do that again. Start at the low belly. Inhale. Wave the breath through the belly. Even through the rib cage, the side of the body, the low back, the back of the heart, your chest space. Let it overfill, overflow like your breath pours up and out and over your lungs and your heart. Maybe into your throat, to the top of your head. And when you exhale, release it slowly. Let it go. Let the body get even meltier. Even more relaxed. And give yourself this time and this space to tune into the subtle energetic changes that happened within your body. Compare how you feel now to when we started class. Tune into where your body spills feels spacious where maybe it felt compact and sticky and tight before are there any any uh, pockets of stickiness that you can still feel any tension tightness that's okay breathe into it send love to those areas staying in your feeling body with compassionate awareness Sending breath to the areas that need it. And allowing yourself to settle into the melted areas even more. Stay here for as long as you'd like you have time to really linger in this simmering steeping and if you're ready or short on time slowly move and wiggle your fingers roll out the wrists the ankles maybe rock the head from side to side move around the jaw yawn stretch whatever movements you want to take And slowly bend your knees, roll into the fetal position on your right side. Taking a minute in this sweet fetal position, this little rebirth before you leave your mat. tuning into the new sensations from your practice that you gifted to yourself. And then with that awareness, slowly bring yourself back into a seated position. 
Again, cross-legged, maybe on your knees. If you've opened your eyes, go ahead and close them again. Settling back in. And take one hand over your heart and then your other hand over. So your palms are overlapped on your chest. And stay with the intention to keep moving into your feeling body. Your mind will naturally always be on, but try not to live in the mind. Come back into the feeling body. Feel your strength. Feel your softness and the blending of the two. Blend strength and soft. Blend the heart and the mind. Again, simmer and steep in the benefits of your practice. Allow yourself to tune into all of the subtle energy changes. And now bring your palms together in front of your heart again, bowing, linking your brain and your heart your mind and your body. When you're ready, lift your head and open your eyes. Take this practice with you off of your mat into your day. It's a constant practice, just being in your body, balancing the energies of the mind and the body. There is no right or wrong. There's just a conscious awareness balancing the strength and the vulnerability and combining the two thank you so much for practicing with me i hope you enjoy if you feel called like subscribe there's more where this came from share with people leave a comment to uh what this brought up for you um what are you working on in your heart space what did you feel what are you opening yourself up to what are you letting go of what are you working through um, yeah, let's chit chat again. Thanks so much for being here with me. Take care, friends.